in today's video we'll be making a girl on a swing painting so let's enjoy coloring so in step one we'll make sky for which i'm applying a layer of white acrylic color as a base and now apply light blue color on the top and use a separate wet brush to blend both the colors from the center. Follow the same step by using yellow color. While moving upwards, decrease the pressure on the brush and create a blended effect like this or you can always use a separate flat brush to blend both the colors from the center. So in step 2, let's make tree. At this stage, our tree would look very flat, so to make it look 3D and realistic, we'll add highlights and shadows. Now to make leaves, I'm using this old flat brush and if in case you do not have it, then I have an amazing tip for you all. You can buy an inexpensive flat brush and dip its tip with very little color and now spread the bristles like this and let it dry and now you can see that the bristles have become perfect for making foliages and now use it for making the foliages and flowers. And never spoil your good brush for making this, you should always have a separate brush for creating this perfect foliage effect. And now I'm using dark green color and practice this effect first on draw before you work on the main surface. For making leaves, always dab the brush very gently and then reduce the pressure on the brush while moving outwards to give natural look to the tree. So in step 3, let's paint a girl on a swing. 
So I actually lost the entire footage after this and the main portions were corrupted. So I decided to paint the entire painting all over again as the main elements like the dress and the hair that I wanted to teach you were all gone. So initially I was very upset of losing it because I wasn't sure that will I be able to reshoot it and edit it on time. But I'm so glad that the video could come out on time. And now let's enjoy coloring it together. So for making the body, if you're a beginner then make the block diagram first. So first start by making the shoulder level, then the waist level. neck level and make an oval shape for the head and also make both the hands like this and now let's paint the dress So to make folds and turns on the fabric, we'll add reflection of light. For that, I'm using a moist flat brush and picking up color from the top like this, where exactly the light would fall and make it look more 3D and realistic. But if in case your base is dry completely and you're not able to create this kind of an effect then you can always add white to your main color and apply it on the top. And now add very little black to the main color for adding shadows and depth in between two folds of the garment. And for learning the right human anatomy, you should always learn it from real images or from real human figures. So the tip here I'll give you is, for example, if you want to paint a hand holding a rope. So just imagine that with your own hand and take the exact position. And now click the image or get it clicked by someone and now use it as a reference for your paintings. So by this technique, you'll always learn the right things and your paintings will start looking more mature and realistic. And now let's make this dress flowy and sheer. For this I'm adding more water to the color.
And now I have an amazing tip if in case you're not happy with the flow of the garment or if you think you've made any mistake while coloring, then quickly use a wet brush and pick up the color and wipe it with the help of tissue. So this technique will only work if the colors are wet and will not work if the colors are completely dry. And you can always first draw it with the help of pencil and then go ahead and enjoy making it. So a lot of times you make mistakes while coloring and that's totally okay. Never judge yourself if you make mistakes. Don't ever think what others will think or whether they like it or not. You just need to give time for your skills to develop. Meanwhile, you need to enjoy the journey. You need to enjoy your colorful process and explore your hidden talents. As with time and practice, we learn each day. So just don't give up because every failure today is going to be a beautiful learning for us. So in step 4, let's paint grass. So 
So I get this question a lot about this fine liner brush that I use. So you can always use round brush number 0 for doing fine detailing. But these liner brushes are amazing as they can hold more amount of color and the bristles do not get spoiled very easily. As you can see with time, round brush number 0 is now damaged. So the liner brushes are something that I love and they make your work a lot more easier. You will find the link of the brushes in the description box below. And yes, if you have a round brush number 0 which is in very good state, then go ahead and paint it by using it. I hope you liked today's video and if you did then do hit the like button and for more such interesting videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep exploring the hidden goodness in you and I'll see you very soon.